Good morning, YouTube. It is 3.55 a.m. Friday, February 11th, 2022. Tonight, that was one of the most frustrating nights I've had at Bullocks in a long time. You know, last week I just felt like I, I, I had essentially a panic attack at one point over just people people not respecting my personal space and just getting all you know just getting too fucking close it's really infuriating when i'm asking you know i'm asking for a specific singer and other people are like hey blah 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 you know it's like do you not hear that i'm asking for a specific singer if if that's not your name, you just need to shut the fuck up and wait till I get to the next singer. If you got something to say to me, just step aside and wait until I, I've got you know the microphone actually handed off to another singer and a person singing, and acknowledge your presence. Until then, you need to back the fuck up. And and generally speaking, when I set up karaoke, I always set it up to where um, I'm out where the people are. And I, I've got my controls and stuff where I can get them, but I, I've never been one to do, to intentionally do karaoke in a uh, in a DJ booth where I'm separated from people. Um, that was one of the things I really disliked about the layout of uh, 414 when I was doing when I was a KJ there was that I. I couldn't, I couldn't reach the controls while I was singing to make adjustments and pretty much had to stay, you know, in a, in a box separated from everybody and didn't like that. Um, anyway, um, today I actually set it up with the tables in a different arrangement to where, uh, because I had a problem, I kind of, I, I just had a problem with people just getting too fucking close to me last week and not respecting my space that I, I set up, yeah, I set up the tables to where they formed a barrier between me and other people. And, and damned if people didn't still fucking like walk around it and try to get up and, and, and touch me and shit. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm right on the verge of quitting right now. Uh, like at one point I was so upset that I just, I couldn't, you know, I was calling. I was calling specific singers. They weren't coming up, and then I had other people that were just like in my face and yelling at me and shit as I'm trying to get singers going, and and just getting too close to where I'm not able to comfortably work my stuff. And at one point, I just I put on a, I just stepped stepped aside, and the guy's like, "Well, you keep I keep keeping closer, and you keep you keep getting farther away." I'm like, "Yeah, get a, get a fucking hand, get a clue." It's like, well, it's like you're in fucking grade school. It's like you're not respecting my space, man. And of course, you know, nobody, nobody tipping at all. Like absolutely nothing in my chip tar. I mean, people are being, you know, hey, am I up next? Am I up next? Hey, you should, I don't, I want to sing next. Is it my turn? Is it time for me to sing? You know, if you want to sing quicker, don't, don't be constantly bothering me be throwing money in the tip jar that's how that's how that works cheap motherfuckers oh god what a frustrating night um anyway in case you're wondering why i'm walking uh i i walked over to the uh um bethany home road uh route 60 bus stop over there at 27th avenue and the cleaning crew was actually there power washing it so that's that's nice it's nice to see that actually gets done it's amazing how quickly it goes from freshly power washed to nasty though but you know disgusting people who just throw trash among themselves uh acting like it's their campsite well we'll do that to a bus stop so uh anyway um yeah the uh oh god i uh um yeah, I sat there and kind of watched him, and it's like, well, I should check the, check the, uh, check the bus app, and last week the bus was a little bit late, but when I checked it today, it was running 
uh, 20 minutes late, which is, I'm not sure when that became a thing, you know, like the driver that used to always run that run. What the, oh, not in service bus. It's a not in service bus. They're always fucking not in service buses. Shame I don't have the uh, NUU phone anymore to pop open the transit app right now and see what route that is. Because seriously, like, there's a bus going down the street. They could be picking up passengers. But instead it's just wasting time and gas and, 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 you know, labor for the driver to just drive down the street with a not-in-service on. Frustrating as all fuck. Oh, God, I'm just so sick of walking. I, I'm just just so so I, I mean, if there's anything that describes my life right now it's just sick of walking I, I can't think of anything I mean I'm I'm sick, sick of walking uh, and, and sick of girlfriend that has absolutely no sex drive left at least not for me um, yeah sick of life in general um, it, it's it's, it's to the point, honestly, that my happiest times lately are when I'm actually working at Amazon, a job that most people consider pretty fucking miserable. That seems to be my happiest times lately. So at least then I feel like I have purpose, and I'm, and I'm, uh, I know I'm kind of working to an end, and I, I feel like I have some, you know, surrounded by people that seem to enjoy my company, and probably they don't, you know, but at least I'm not alone talking to myself, which is how I spend the, a lot of my time. <laughs> Just keep making these videos because I have nothing else to fucking do with my life. Can't afford to do anything else. I don't have a lot of options without a vehicle in Phoenix. <sighs> anyway, I, I check the transit app. The, Route 60 bus is running 20 minutes late. Um, at the time, it, the app saying that it'll it'll be showing up is the same time the 20 the first 27 South shows up. So that doesn't help me out any. But it looked like I could probably walk to the uh, walk to the route walk to the Route 19. Of course, the light rail is not running this early either. Um, it looks like I could probably walk to the 19 in, a, in time to catch its first southbound bus at Bethany and at least be in motion towards home. I don't know, maybe I'll get home a little bit earlier. But as late as the, uh, as late as the 60 is running, there's no way in hell. No way in hell I'd make the transfer to the 50. So I'd be stuck waiting for another 50 and then just gets me that much later to 44. God, I just, I miss being able to just drive home, you know, after a frustrating night there, just pack my shit up and get in my car and go home. I really miss doing that. And imagine, imagine if my girlfriend cared enough about me to actually go to my shows and hang out and sing and, and then drive me home after. How cool would that be, right? Yeah, but she don't. No, no, that's not, uh, Nah, she don't. She don't go to my karaoke shows anymore. She, she goes to the karaoke at, at, uh, at, at Castaways. She goes to the karaoke at Wander Inn, and she goes to the karaoke at uh, Gypsy's Roadhouse. But she doesn't. She's not supportive of my shows at all. Um. Yeah. I uh. So I got, my, I got my first overtime uh, direct deposit uh, paycheck from Amazon. Uh, sitting at the bar right before I had them let me out to go catch the bus. Or <laughs> to realize that the bus is running 20 minutes late. Um, and the, uh, it, it posted. It's, uh, it's more money than I expected it would be. So that's kind of cool. And immediately threw a couple hundred bucks at my... Wells Fargo credit card debt, which is huge. Um, I don't know, that's gonna make a huge 
huge decrease in how much interest that I pay, but it's it's something. And at least I don't have to worry about that that deadline. I forget what date what date it comes due. But that, that exceeds like the minimum, you know, the minimum the minimum that's due whenever the hell it's due. Uh that will get automatically debited like this. I don't have to ask one one less thing I gotta worry about now. Um, oh gosh. Yeah, I don't know if I'm walking quick enough to get to the get to the uh nineteenth Avenue bus or not. And the shitty thing is I since I don't have the in your U phone anymore, I'm just gonna have to stop rolling video to check that because I'm going to check it on my iPhone. Speaking of not having an Inu U phone, you know, I've been using it for data and since I've lost it, uh, I was doing pretty good at not using a whole lot of my limited data because I only get 10 gigs of data a month from uh, Mint Mobile on the super budget plan that I'm on. And I... Um, I'm already down, or down to, why is this 10, I'm sorry, 10, 10 megs, no, 10 gigs, God, I always get the numbers confused, anyway, whatever it is, I knew it wouldn't be adequate unless I was able to be hotspotting off Obama phones, which I'm not able to do at the moment, um, and I was doing pretty good about, you know, staying on Wi-Fi and staying on the, on the Obama phone for data, and I'd only used maybe about half my data, the last time I checked it, I want to say, you know, like a week ago, maybe less. Anyway, I, I checked it now. And I'm down to like 1.5 left. And I still have 10 gays to go until it renews. And now when I go into the Mint Mobile app, it shows... Uh, it shows purchase options to buy more data. And wow, um, yeah, that's, I wondered where men made their money, now I know. Um, yeah, uh, adding additional data with Mint when you run out is way more expensive than it is um, adding it with uh, True Connect, which is the second Obama phone operation outfit that you know the, the, the company I got my in UU phone from so wow kind of that's kind of a shitty thing um, okay just check my back pocket to realize I do have the paperwork that I wrote down on Monday when I was with my therapist and called true connect just thinking of that because when I called true connect says it's gonna be 10 they want an 80 I think <coughs> <coughs> they wanted $80 to replace that piece of crap phone. Which is ridiculous. I wouldn't pay $80 for a phone like that. The phone's awful. Um, I mean, there's... I could probably get a, another Samsung Galaxy Note 5, which is an infinitely better phone for $80 if I did some searching. Anyway. Um, yeah. That... Uh, they told me it was, he said, well, you know, we can send you another SIM card for free. Um, so they said it's going to be 10 days or more before they get sent out. So, um, yeah, that's a, that's, a long, that's a long time. Um, so I have a, uh, anyway, I, I, while I was on the phone with him, I, I got my account number, my PIN number. That way I can, I can, uh, That way I can transfer my, uh, hopefully, I can, I can move that, move that phone number. I don't even know what the hell that phone number is. Oh, and the sh oh, shit. Oh, wait, no, no, I do have it saved. I'm just thinking, usually when I need to know what that phone number is, I open up the NUU phone and I go to uh, settings and then about phone 
<laughs> and, and there it shows me the phone number. That's usually what I got to do to figure out what the phone number is. And I'm thinking, well, shit, I can't do that. I don't have the phone. But now I have, I did at least have the foresight to text my, uh, once I got my iPhone back on, I had the foresight to text my iPhone with it. Um, which mostly I was doing to make sure that I was receiving texts on my iPhone. Wow. And there is the 60s. I guess it's not as late as I thought it was. The app was showing it was going to be in 20 minutes. And here it is 15 minutes later. And there it goes. Which honestly makes me wonder if, if that bus even went to the stop at 27th Avenue. I did notice last week when I was trying to uh, last week when I was trying to um, wait, wait, wait. yeah I'm not waiting uh, last week when I was trying to uh, um, so stupid this guy's stuck at a red left arrow because uh, you know dangerous to turn left across tracks that won't have a train running for well over another hour yeah, that's how poorly traffic control is engineered here in Phoenix. That guy's just going to sit there for a while. He can't turn left over unused tracks. I'm so sick of... I'm so sick of fucking everything here. I really am. Alright, I see somebody at the stop up ahead, so I think I'm going to wrap this up. But um, Anyway, yeah, I do have my phone number. I have all the information I need. Hopefully I can port that number to to my first Obama phone. Those people were super liberal with how much data they let me use. So that'll, that'll solve my problem. Is that? God, I hate having bad vision. Okay, that's a 19 North. Used to be I could easily see those, those signs on the bus, but now they're kind of blurry. Um, yeah, so gonna uh, today. I, I, when I get home, I just want to go to sleep. Today is just kick my ass. It's been an overall really fucking miserable day. I, I didn't. I didn't even enjoy. It's to the point I don't even enjoy doing my karaoke show anymore. Because people are just so fucking pushy, and nobody tips. And the couple songs that I did sing, I felt like I was totally ignored, with the exception of when I did Fifty Cent in the club. And it's kind of a birthday tribute to. Uh, this one gal named Marlena, who I find really, really attractive, but I'm sure she doesn't. I'm sure she's not. I'm sure she. I'm sure that's not mutual. Um, and then uh, there's a, a bigger gal named Deborah that was there, and she her birthday as well. So yeah, it's kind of you know blah 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 through that after the birthday girls, and that got the crowd pumped. But yeah, the other two songs that I did, no, I don't remember what they were, but. Um, no, I do remember. I did. I did. Uh, Young MC bust a move, mostly because that line. You got no. You got no money, and you got no car. You got no woman, and there you are. That just seems to really sum up my life these days. Even though I guess technically I've got a woman, but the way things are with her, it's actually <laughs> it's in many ways worse than being alone. So. Uh, all right, there's my bus right there. I gotta go.